here tonight in Roseville, dozens of families are being forced to leave their apartments by the end of the month. As KCRA 3's Claire Dwan reports, a balcony collapse alerted the city to many safety problems at Shadowbrook Apartments. The city says the buildings here, more than 30 years old, have not been well maintained. A balcony collapsed two weeks ago with an 11 year old on it, though he did not get hurt. This resident does not want to be on camera. I think it's uh, really inexcusable that they took so long to start remodeling the place. Families in five buildings here were given notice just days ago that they need to move out by the end of June. That's after the city forced management to stop construction and find ways to meet minimum code standards. The primary safety issue was the manner in which the construction was being done and getting uh, the uh, uh, residents in and out of their units. So there was no pedestrian protection. The city tells KCRA 3 there are also problems with roofs, drainage, mold, and weatherproofing. People like Gary Saucer are now scrambling for a place. How stressful is this for you? Very stressful. I, lately, I've been having a hard time sleeping, um, you know, having headaches every morning. The apartment manager here told us she had no comment. To help with moving costs, Watt Property Management told tenants it won't charge for June rent and will give back their full security deposit, plus $500 for moving expenses. Still, some say this is far from ideal. I think that's 27 families being dumped into a city of Roseville that doesn't have that much rental. I think it's going to be tough for people. In Roseville, Claire Dwan, KCRA 3 News. Person at the main office of Watt Property Management in San Francisco also told KCRA 3 that they have no comment. The city says all of the buildings at the complex will have to eventually be repaired.